Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I went to the outlet store in San Ysidro and it's been about, I think, eight days since I've been on YouTube recording and I haven't really been shopping at the store because I went through somewhat of a... Um, I needed a break from Bath & Body Works. I needed a break from filming and yeah, I... I think I just did too many walkthroughs and I was a little burnt out from all the videos I made. Uh, I don't know. I guess that's just my reasoning. So we are starting off at the 75% off section and has it really changed since I've been at the outlet? Firecracker Pop and a bunch of sass cents left. I think they need to be priced at two bucks or less to sell them. Calypso Clementine Tine in the room spray for 75% off and gingerbread bakery, ghoul friend, pumpkin carving, and I believe they have vampire blood too from the single wicks. So those would be four dollars. And they had tons of the Christmas tree uh, wallflower plug from last year. They have a similar one this year that's of course for full price. So I would probably get the one from last year since it's 75% off. Other side, Bridgerton. Uh, spray, more luminous. Wow, luminous is still there. Snowy peach berry on top of the candy cane and peppermint candle holder. I love that one. And I found the Forever Red, the very boring Forever Red candle, but it smells nice. And yeah, just, uh, they could have really upped the aesthetic on this one, but I guess that's why it's $24.95. Now, this used to be the $2 or the, sorry, the $3 section, but they really changed things up at the outlet and they move things around, so they added that floor set, or that table. The 50% off section is still there, and they still have a carriage. First sight is still going strong. And a bunch of the Halloween shower gels and mist are still at the outlet. So these are now gone from the retail stores, but at the outlet, you should still be able to find Halloween. But for 50% off, that's kind of boring. Champagne, apple, and honey, and the moisturizer body wash. I love that. I would have gotten that if it was for a 75% off. Clearance select items, $3. So the $3 section is now at the back of the store near the cash register. So we have Vampire Blood and the soap, uh, $3. I have said it before. I'm not really interested in that for a soap. Mango, Passion, and a lot of single wicks here. Smells like sunshine. That one seems to be dwindling. And here's a closer look at Mango Passion. Lavender, cedarwood, that one is nice, but I'm skipping that one. Vanilla and patchouli, uh, that one's a bit too strong for me. Among the Clouds is still at the outlet for $3, Stranger Things. I personally think these soaps should be $2 or less. That would be the better price for the outlet. $3 is good, but it could be better. Other side, we have, again, oh, Dream Bright. Oh, is it? oh, that's in the mini. Okay. Um, I was going to say, if, if that was the full size, I should have got, I should have stocked up on that. But we still have Pink Paradise in that collection. And the Santa Claus in the chimney, I'm still thinking about that one. But so far, I think it's going to be a no. And the A frame house, the green truck, that was gone a long time ago. So today we have the buy one, get one free. So they had the green candlestick holder. And I forgot to film the pink, but they had about four of the pink ones. And there's a shiny Merry Christmas bag, which your candy apple. So this is the 25th anniversary, and I am pretty sure I was shopping at the store 25 years ago to get winter candy apple. It's a very nostalgic scent, very late 90s. Um, yeah, I just remember those times shopping at Bath & Body Works, and they were so magical. I know that sounds corny, but it was really a fun time, and I miss that. I miss the art stuff, stuff and everything that they had back then. Vanilla Bean Noel, and looks like this packaging is giving me the Aurora Borealis vibes. Maybe that is the Aurora Borealis. So they did a good job with that one. I think they made the labels. Um, they just nailed it this year. Twisted Peppermint. I think that one is cute. That's not a scent for me though, but the label is still cute. And I'll be cutting off the walkthrough right here because I do have my haul from the outlet. So let's start the haul right now. And that was my walkthrough from the outlet. It was a short walkthrough. I didn't spend too much time filming. I spent all my time looking at what I can spend my money on or waste my money on considering I don't need anything. But we have a little haul and I told myself to stop hauling because I just don't need anything. However, you know what happened. So we're going to start from left to right, small bag first. 
And first things first, I did get another Smells Like Sunshine. I noticed that these were looking like they were selling pretty fast. So I got one more Smells Like Sunshine. And we have notes of pink grapefruit, zesty blood orange, papaya nectar. And yeah, it's really nice for three bucks, why not? Um, I think if I see more of these candles next time, I'm going to try to use my 25% off coupon at the outlet because that's when you can get the best price. So I'll try to get some more single wicks then, but I got one more smells like sunshine. Next I got, okay, wow. So I got my very first room spray. I got Calypso Clementine and I love this scent. If you have been following my channel, I do have probably 10 of the perfumes I got from Sass. I went a little crazy with the scent. So I got my very first room spray. I've been avoiding these. I, I avoid some other products at Bath & Body Works, but I did, goodbye receipt. I did decide to get one and it came out to be like 225. So uh, I figured why not, let's try it. And for the pocket back sale, I did pick up 10. I will, pause and try to get this a little bit nicer okay i set them up no particular order so first i got black cherry frost and i don't know what the set notes are but i feel like this is firecracker pop or or are they really close i think they're close so i got one black cherry frost tis this season i love that's my favorite scent for christmas and one of my favorite in general gingerbread bakery love the gingerbread note and that one vanilla bean noel winter candy apple another black cherry frost Four more tears of season. And one snow, snowy peach berry. Now I did get a third black cherry frost. So either they forgot to put it in or it's in my car because my bags were rolling around. Um, apparently I drive crazy. I don't, but yeah, it must be in my car somewhere. So we have 10 of the pocket bags. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, we have 11. So yeah, I guess I got 12 pocket bags. So one's in my car, I believe. Okay, and so I picked up one soap during the sale, and so I picked up Bright Christmas Morning. I like the bottle. I actually thought it looked a little prettier online, but yeah, it's nice. I like the red and gold color scheme. Uh, the scent itself, I'm not sure if I absolutely love it in the hand soap. I like it in the candle and maybe some of the other body products. So this might be returned or exchanged because I really just wanted to get my free item. So with the coupon, we had one free item worth up to $16.95. So I decided to get in the stars in the moisturizing body wash because the outlet did have this. And thankfully with this one, it is, huh, it's $17.95. Was the coupon for $17.95? I don't know what happened, but apparently I got, um, yeah, I don't think it was $17.95. I think it was $16.95. Um, whatever. I got this one for free, so I'm happy about that. I might return the soap because, yeah, when you do that Bopus, um, they make you buy something, of course. They try to nickel dime you for everything, <laughs> but you can always return whatever you bought, so I might do that. So, that's what I got at the outlet. Oh, wait, no. No, Garrett, you, you got you got more. I got more. Let's go into the third bag. All right. So in the third bag, I did pick up today. I got the winter candy apple in the, uh, what is this? The conditioner. So moisturizing conditioner and I love the packaging. I wish it was a red bottle like the shampoo, but of course they had to differentiate between the two red apples and all those scent notes. I love the scent. It smelled slightly different in the shampoo. So that's why I only got it in the conditioner. I did use my rewards for this one. So $16.95, thankfully we can use our rewards for the shampoos and conditioners. And I have two more items to go. And can we see it? Ooh, it's very shiny. I did pick up the pink, I forgot what they call it on the website, but I got the pink kind of like candlestick pedestal. It's very shiny. You can see me crouching down here. Um, not the best setup, but I want to do an outdoor haul because there's some things going on inside right now and it's pretty noisy. So I got the shiny pink pedestal uh, because today we have the buy one, get one free. So at the outlet, they had pink, green, and the red. They also had silver, but silver surprisingly was not 
part of the sale, I guess, because it's the holiday tradition sale, I guess. So this would be the Twisted Peppermint color. So I got pink and I got green. So I guess green would be the Vanilla Bean Noel color. So yeah, I got these two. They are $30, but with the buy one, get one free, it was $15. I'm not sure if I'll keep both of them or I'll do another order and get two more. But I think I like, I don't know. I'm trying not to get all the colors. I think I prefer the silver one. I'm actually not sure. I thought the pink one was my favorite, but I have to really play around with these and see how they look with all my other decor and the aesthetics of the candles. But I was thinking about maybe ch changing one of these into the Kenny Kane and Peppermint candle holder uh, because they are the same price. So I was going to do maybe a swap. So I might just turn out, I might just get, keep one of these and swap it out for that one and return the other one I got for full price. So this was my little haul from the outlet and the pocket bags actually had a 15% off coupon that popped up online. So I got them for 85 cents each. The candle holders, like I said, $15. The candle was $3. The room spray was $2.25. Hand soap was $3.50, but I might return that. There goes the bag, there goes that bag, there goes that bag. They are all leaving. I guess the things are done with me uh, talking about what I got the outlet. I got the free in the stars moisturizing body wash and the free winter candy apple conditioner. So yep, yeah, that's my haul. And it looks like the wind's picking up, so I suppose I will cut this off right now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.